solve 8 to the x equals 16 to the 1 minus x. Solution. Because we have an 8 and a 16, a very natural thing to try to do is to try to write both sides using the same base. There's a formula that says if you have b to the x equals b to the y, you can drop the b's and then you can set x equal to y. So we need to find out a number that we can use to represent both sides. So four doesn't quite work because I can't think of a power that we can raise the four to to get eight. Also eight doesn't work because of the 16. So I think two will work. Eight is two cubed. So we can write this as two cubed to the x and that's equal to, and then the 16 you can write that as two to the fourth. And this is to the one minus x. Let's keep going. So properties of exponents say that we multiply here. So this is three times x. So this is two to the three x. And then this is equal to, and then here you can multiply through by the four. So this is two. It's really important to distribute. Four times one is four. Four times negative x is negative four x. Now we're in the situation where we can use this formula. So now you can drop the twos. So we have three x and that's equal to four minus four x. Okay, so now we have to solve for x. So let's see, maybe we can just add this four x to both sides. So plus four x, plus four x. These cancel, so we have seven x and that's equal to four. Then just divide by seven, divide by seven. So we have x equals four over seven. And this would be the solution to this equation.